I'm Dr Kelly Lee from Science for Wildlife. We've just come out of the field yesterday from a really groundbreaking project where we've tried to get koalas out in front of a fire front. We've just been watching these devastating losses right across the state. We've got huge mega fires, the whole width of the World Heritage Area. It was a massive operation to pull together in just a couple of days. We were working towards this window. We had good conditions and we could go in, in front of the fire. We've got a lot of really well-trained volunteers who are off-track bushwalkers, some SES rescue. They came and volunteered. So we had teams out radio tracking the animals. We had a base camp where we could put the koalas into safe um, pet transport carriers and look after them. And we had a specialised climbing team that we work with that came up from Victoria who can go up 40 or 50 metre trees to get these koalas down safely. We put in some very long hours and some big hiking over many days and we're delighted that we've got a good ratio of males and females and also some joeys. This particular population up in Canangra, they're also chlamydia free, which is quite a rare thing. They're one of only two populations that we know about in New South Wales and they're healthy, expanding young population. So we just thought it was really critical. Even though we've got a relatively small number, we just needed to do something and we've done the best we can. We're absolutely delighted that Taronga could house them for us. They said 10 animals and we thought, well, joeys only count as half an animal, so we've squished in 12, including joeys. They eat eucalyptus leaves and they eat a lot of them. And so we've got ongoing collection of food for them, which is called browse. We've got to do ongoing logistics, potentially from Kanangra Boyd National Park all the way to Mossman every couple of days. Right now we need funding basically. This project was totally unfunded. We've just done it and we're thinking about it later. We need money to pay for the capture costs, the planning, the logistics, their ongoing care and also the upcoming release. We really need your help. We need donations to help fund this critical work so any support you can give will be hugely appreciated.